game is twitchy this morning. Oh yeah, that win <laughs> messes with all their defenses. Well, Uncle Gary, if I recall last time, we also had wind and dramatic um, rain just before your safari. This is going to be the kind of windiest day on the forecast. Opening day, a beautiful dramatic sky. Um, but yeah, really good to have you back and pursue some of the stuff we didn't get around to getting last time. And the weather for the week's looking good. It's clearing up from today. So we'll be focusing on a big old kudu for you. I know last time your friend Dovey, we took a really lovely bull up yeah, in the mountains. We've had a fantastic hunt up there. So yeah, we'll focus quite hard on finding you a good kudu amongst some other things in between. So good to have you back, sir. And I'm sure we're gonna have a fantastic week together. Good to be back. Had a blast last year. Can't wait to, to get after it this year. Although you can warm it up about 10 degrees if you want to. <laughs> we'll order it for you, don't you worry. <laughs> three yards from us and they were laying down here they were so confused but very close they were nice old bulls but not a bull we after but uh yeah lovely animal just through there he was a really wide bull but he had like really thin horns and not a very big curl but he was very wide but uh yeah, we will carry on, but it was just nice to see them that close, <laughs> Jeep. The last thing I expected was to come around the corner and have yeah. all these bulls standing at 23 yards. Gary got that creek down here, that steep embankment. Yeah. We've already closed the distance from a thousand down to five hundred, and there's still this little ridge here. We're going to climb up this ridge, and we should close the distance to under four, and then find a place to lie down. So roughly, roughly where the rifle's pointing now, roughly where the rifle's pointing now, above the shadow line there was a cow 
she's just gone in behind the trees, but yes, yes. So, so I, th I think he is between the two, but the cow was just above the smaller shadow, and she's gone into the, just fed behind a tree. So we just got to be ready here for when he comes out. Your rifle, your rifle is loaded on safe, and it is dialed. We just start getting comfortable. coming out right there in Bulgari. Just you just can't see his body yet. He where he went in, yeah. 15 yards right. Okay, you're looking in the right direction, go right a little bit. There, there, oh, there. I see. I see okay, something. I'm, I'm zooming you in. He's gonna turn for us. He's quartering away, Gary. Ready? Okay, I'm ready. Perfect, 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 perfect. When the bull jumps like that. It looked like it was dead on his shoulder. You can still see him. Just saw him run right, but he was struggling. What does that mean? <laughs> Generally, it means it's good in the, in the course of conversation. <laughs> When a bull jumps up like that, you hit him very well, yeah. or at worst, you've broken the front shoulder, in which case we'll be able to follow him up there. Man, that was intense. I tell you what, from seeing him at a thousand yards and panicking coming this way, <laughs> <laughs> and then him stepping out of just the tiniest window. I don't know where that glare was coming from. <laughs> it's crazy. Like my whole sight would go white, and then it would, be, yeah. you know, it would just, it's like somebody was shining a light in the scope and, and, and white and then partially white and straight into this rising morning sun but that is a magnificent kudubu when i saw him from a thousand yards i had absolutely no doubt um, we just started power walking yet to can find a place and we found a perfect oh, little geez, drop you couldn't have. i mean if, if god had said i give you the power to do what you want to do <laughs> and this is a perfect shooting spot across that valley there catching on the other side Wow. Wow. That's wow. Mountains in the back. We'll give him some time and then we'll, yeah, it's a, cross the creek down here and make our way up there. Good job, Uncle Gary. That was tough and we pulled it off. Yeah, it sure heated up pretty fast, didn't it? It's hard to believe that it just had a straight frost off the windshield. <laughs> Uncle Gary, this is what you were after, sir. Yes, it is. Wide, heavy, old, symmetrical, everything. <laughs> Whatever other great adjectives for a kudu bull we want to throw in there. I'll tell you what, check a size of neck on this bull. He was following cows around and you know, he presented well in that morning sun and you could see that jump and we knew he had broken some big bones for sure. And I tell you what, he's every bit as special as I was hoping he was. Bit of everything, deep curl, heavy horns. I mean, the tip to tip, this bull's probably about 34, 35 inches. Uh, tremendous width on these horns. You can see it's his working horn, really thick, blunt tip. You can see it was probably uh, three quarters of an inch longer and he busted off and he's worn it smooth again right around. It's just an all-round fantastic kudu bull, sir. So congratulations, man. This is exactly what you were after. And we came out and yeah, we looked over a few bulls and we picked out something really special. Yeah, so congratulations, sir. <laughs> An absolutely legendary tracking job, I will say. You're most welcome, it was an absolute pleasure. So I'm just so glad, I know this was your priority animal and you know, to come away with a lovely bull like this is just amazing and good team job and yeah. now the extraction process begins. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, can't get old, I'm, I know you're good, you're a really good PH, but after this, I, 
There's a lot of people that would never have had us where we are right this minute. Oh, Most thank you, Sege. Okay. So thank you, I appreciate that's that. That's why I hunt with you. Just reinforce that. Yeah, an absolute it's pleasure, as sir. As good as they get, sticks. And I can't, thank you. Couldn't appreciate it any more than I do. I, truly. Yeah, it's a pleasure, sir. Thank you very much. Certainly, there's two separate herds of lechery here. I've got that top herd further away and this bottom herd. Both herds do have a bull with him. This bottom bull is still just not what we're after. He needs in one more year and he'll be right. He's just still need to thicken up a bit. But as you can see, and we go this morning, the, the lechery are out. Jeez. We've seen a lot already. Yeah. And yeah, it's one of my favorite animals. I truly, truly enjoy this animal. Oh, I wasn't expecting to see big herd. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's normal to see bachelor groups like we've seen behind us, those bulls together, and then to see a herd, you know, with a normal demographic of having a dominant bigger bull, a few younger bulls with him, and some, some young. Springbok in there with him. Yep. Right there in the middle. So we're just going to keep pressing on and glassing until we find what we're looking for. So he's the one broadside facing right. Looking at us. Yes, correct. Put it on that black shoulder. Um, you all ready? Yes, we're ready. Just watching him. The one in the front up there? No, he's the one all by himself. Oh, I don't see that. Watching him, Gary. I don't see him. Don't worry, I'm watching him. He's looking very ill. Shaking his head, shaking his head. Uncle Gary, we were, the whole herd is still there in sight. Yeah. Our bull immediately ducked right, and as we were losing sight of him, he was really shaking his head a lot, which is indica indicative of a good lung shot. So, never saw him come out other side of the mountain there, but he took off there and he really slowed down. And for maybe 80 yards, you could see him moving his head, and, and his tail was flinging a lot too. So, looks very positive for sure. Just out of our sight, so we'll just give it a few minutes. We'll have to walk down and go over that ridge, and we, we're, I'm pretty confident we're going to find him there. So, but yeah. What a tremendous animal and a tremendous morning out. You found me a bench? <laughs> bench to shoot off of. Yeah, I carried it here this morning. Came here at 4am uh -huh. and we put it here. All right. Well, Uncle Gary, when we were sitting up there, I told you he was shaking his head showing all the signs of a great shot and you can't mistake the snow white belly and black shoulder patch and sweeping horn sticking out the grass there yep, absolutely <laughs> he ran a fair ways but i guess he had some momentum help coming down well, it didn't take a lot to go fast down the <laughs> 40 degree angle so yeah. 
Fantastic, sir. Yeah, again. Let's go down there and check him out. <laughs> You're the man, Sticks. <laughs> Let's go, sir. Yeah. Well, like a good one to me. He is beautiful, Gary. Tell you what, it's steep down here. He, <laughs> we knew from the top though that he was running out of steam, and you see your shot over here, sir. Yep. Double lunged him perfectly, so. I was aiming right there. Yep. Got that bit, bit of wind drift. Yep, and the wind did it perfect. Tell you what, when he was feeding there, we saw particularly this left horns, maybe a couple in inches long, and that's so he got this real good hook forward. Yep. Yeah. You see his beautiful yep. ivory rings, hard all the way down to the bottom. Yeah. Yep. And yeah, he was one of the dominant bulls around there for sure. So. Yeah. The, these horns. That just. That can. It, they're probably the prettiest horn that I've that ever you, seen. That you've seen. Life. Yeah. Just. Just the colors and the, the shape. Texture as well. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, just amazing. They're yeah, magnificent. Only with age do these bulls extend and get this like black look over the front of the shoulder. They get this black shoulder patch. And that's also a sign of age. The bull standing next to him didn't have black extending past the middle of the forearm up to here. And then generally across the body, if you open the hair like this, you yeah. see how it's got a bit, almost at the, from the root up is initially black. Yep. And then coming to this rufous color. And it generally just seems to give the entire animal a much deeper richer color tone so a lot of unique little aspects about these animals that make them really different oh, to everything else I mean, i'm just white snow white i mean i've seen white on deer and yeah elk and mule deer but no this is this is snow white snow white baby <laughs> it all worked out and he made it to uh, most of the way to the bottom of the mountain <laughs> so we have minimal recovery effort to do we're nearly at the bottom already so there you have it, sir. One of my favorite animals by a long shot. Thick. Thick coat, yeah. And thick set animals. Yeah. Congratulations, sir. Yeah. Again, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome, we Mr. Just Gary. Keep, keep getting fantastic animals from fantastic settings. The scenery. Holy cow. Beautiful day out. Yes. Really, just a truly beautiful day. It's, uh, special opportunity to be able to come to mountains like this even for us as guides to be able to come to mountains like this and have the scenery and this vastness and look over a lot of game like we did this morning so yeah at one when those impala ran up the hill after that shot yeah how many animals do you think we could see all together <laughs> 150 maybe <laughs> yeah there were lots there was a lot <laughs> impalas and springbok and a ton of these guys yeah no i couldn't be happier what an awesome animal and Gary, really magnificent. Just to do something completely different to what we have been doing. We've come down from where we're hunting kudu and lecher up in mountains, right down looking near the ocean rolling in the background. A uh, buddy of mine down here has been doing a lot of pre-scouting and uh, all the hard work before us arriving here, putting up this blind about 10 days ago and uh, patterning these blue dica. And we've got here before um, eight and we're gonna sit here for probably two or more hours and generally this diker the last like two weeks has been roughly between 9 30 and 11 a.m is when he's been coming past this area here so it's going to be the patience game now we get in here we sit tight and we've just got to be observant and we'll see him come in at some point hopefully so let's give it a whirl thick thick stuff <laughs>
moving so fast, Gary. We hardly have time to get ready. So, Uncle Gary, we saw clearly it jump straight up. You got this fur, yeah? Mm -hmm. And those tiny little track marks inside is exactly where you were standing drinking. You can see the track marks there and there, <laughs> about nine inches apart. He jumped straight up and took off that way. And there's a crater in the ground here from yeah. a clean pass through. Yeah. So, yeah, he, they have um, obviously very small bodies and so they don't really bleed much actually. But we just brought Peppa on the leash because she will smell it. Um, and we'll just walk slowly with her, but it couldn't have gone too far with a shot like that. So, he went this way. He went down this trail. yeah, that's where he came from, and he jumped and went this way. <laughs> Good dog, Pepper. As you can see, we would have probably taken three hours oh. to cover 15 yards to find the diker. So, good job, Pepper. Well done. The Wonder Mutt found it for us. But we knew it was down somewhere, yeah, close by. <laughs> the tiniest of the tinies, Uncle Gary. Yeah. <laughs> Come check it out. tiny little skull you know a, a good one's like one and a half inches in horn length this one's definitely above that and yeah he came in presented made the shot went 15 yards into the thicker stuff and then pepper hauled him out for us yep. so thank you pepper <laughs> quite unbelievable animals aren't they just yeah. so different from everything else I think they're antelope just like an eland. Exactly. You know? <laughs> Check out these small tiny hooves. They're kind of long and pointed. They're walking in much sandier terrain. Yeah. But I mean, that's barely bigger than a fingernail. Yeah. So. Jeez. It's amazing. There you go. Well, Uncle Gary, I promised you lamb chops. How better way to celebrate a good morning hunt than the lighter fire to put some lamb chops on the grill? I'm all for traditions. <laughs> we did that for Dobie's birthday last yep. year. It was the best meat I've ever had, so I can't wait to check this out. Looks good. The two young boys, Gary. That's a female. There's two young boys. They, you could see they heard or smelled something coming. They were kind of on alert, and they saw her come through.
we'll wait for him to clear. He's basically got some younger pigs around him. Okay, Gary, on the shoulder, sir, take him. Okay, sh behind the shoulder, take that shot. Reload, Gary. Not from where I'm at. Oh, we hit him in the middle of the gut. Oh, no. Yep. Let's just look carefully where he runs. Well, that's not where the gun was. Well, Uncle Gary, craziest afternoon ever. <laughs> so we found a really nice big hog feeding on green grass up here. Shot frontal quarter, hit him behind the shoulder, and truth be told, he would have definitely gone down with that shot, but he made it to the edge of this thick brush. We walked over, and MK was in front of me following the track of the pig. Suddenly, we just hear the most shrill, ear-piercing squeals and squeals. And first we thought, it's odd, maybe because they're starting to rat that another pig was attacking him. Um, so we followed it further down, big drag marks. We saw claw marks on the edge of the trees going down till eventually it stopped and we saw dust kicking up. And we saw the cat there, a leopard sitting on that pig, trying to suffocate it, got it by the grip, so the pig's still squealing. And we, we backed it up a bit, sat there a little bit longer, looking to see if we could see something. And we, this is crazy. <laughs> First time ever. And, and who knows, that's a one in a million chance that you're hunting a warthog and a leopard here yeah, in the Eastern Cape grabs your pig and drags it down the valley. And we got to actually see it. It's quite unbelievable. I'll tell you what, what an experience. <laughs> bachelor herd on the horizon as well right up top and there's that deep canyon behind them over the back there so let's just keep moving forward and see what we see so Gary we from the top of the hill just above this pond in those trees spotted a really nice old black and impala ram quite a tall ram with a nice flare on it long points a beautiful animal so We've managed to come around here. The ram is feeding in the open and he is heading towards these trees down here. So what I'm hoping if we just wait here a little bit that he gets into those trees and starts feeding again, then we can move closer. Okay, Gary, go up that front leg mm -hmm. on the front point of that shoulder. Good. Squeeze it off there. Okay, now on the shoulder, he's turned a bit. Perfectly executed frontal quarter shot. What beautiful a animal. beautiful animal and what a fantastic hunt this morning. Just glassing so many animals. We came over from the top here and it literally 200 plus animals in this whole bowl. Yeah. At least. <laughs> At least 200. Waited for everything to blow out of here. And then the impala settles, a big herd in the bottom, and this old ram, he wasn't uh, 
too uh, spooky at all because he kept watching those giraffe moving and then he settled down and fed and then we stalked right in and got a lovely platform here yeah, so awesome animals so congrats no thank you thank You're most you. welcome it's absolute pleasure sir i saw one when, when we left woodlands to go home last year i saw one run <laughs> off to the left the yeah they were coming out i thought man these are beautiful animals <laughs> awesome let's go check them out a silhouette of a giraffe on the skyline I know. <laughs> never gets old does it no. never ever gets old absolutely beautiful that's why i'm scheduled to come back this year before i ever left last year <laughs> what an animal jeepers gator yeah, this is definitely the oldest black impala i've taken yeah, that is thin in the back magnificent beautiful big flare on him we've taken a proper old animal and just a beautiful specimen sir Jeez. look at that flare on him kicking wow. out your common ram last year was also wide and flared out this one's a bit narrow but tall right. beautiful long points on this ram here yeah, and magnificent so check it out oh good and heavy beautiful no that's just check he's even got an injury in his eye here an old injury yeah just an old boy an old boy who's had a good long time and now he's done well, Mr. Gary, it's going to compliment your other common impala beautifully. Congratulations, sir. Lovely little hunt this morning. Came out, spotted them, and then played some cat and mouse. Each time he fed facing away, we'd scoot to the next tree and keep going, keep going until we got in range. Got a nice prone shot and set up and waited for him to stand perfectly. He has the entry here, yeah, spot on, just yeah. crushed him right there. So, perfectly executed. Well done, sir. Wonderful Thank animal. You. Thank you. It's an Beautiful. absolute pleasure, Gary. Gorgeous animals. Just gorgeous animals. Well, you can see we're finding paces like this where there's blood and flattened branches coming all the way down for the last 80 yards. So yesterday, as we said, uh, MK and I saw a medium-sized cat on this pig and there was an almighty tussle going on and a lot of rolling and squealing and then we left it there and backed out, came back today, picked up the track, come all the way down here and you can see uh, lots of rolling down the steep hill right down to final resting place over there so we found our boss hog <laughs> <laughs> man yes that's one. definitely a boss hog definitely there you are out, mr gary yeah. i mean a pig like this has got 11 inches sticking out that is a boss hog so yeah. and that's why that cat was wrestling with it so badly i yeah. mean our entrance is that side without an exit and it's just holes and punctures and lacerations everywhere and on his hind quarters lacer i mean look at these lacerations yeah. all along here yeah. puncture marks here but Whew. getting up and close and personal and seeing just how big this warthog's body is you realize that there was no chance yeah, um, no way the cat was going to put his mouth around his neck <laughs> exactly, and choke him get it there right, asphyxiated you'll wear at least twice with the cat wear. yeah easily it's uh, unbelievable i'm so thrilled that we found it and have the most unbelievable sighting and story and everything to go with it <laughs> still got the pig yeah and now phase two we're going to set up trail cameras here and hope that there isn't too much scent maybe it'll come back so yeah very exciting very glad we found it so oh thank you very much well, it's an absolute pleasure man this is exciting there's plenty of meat something's going to come back to have a feast but uncle gary what an unbelievable story and what an exciting way to um, end our time together. <laughs> I don't think I'll repeat that in a while, but it's been an absolute pleasure yet again. And we've, we've had a lot of fun taking a few stellar animals and yeah, it, what a way to end yeah, with uh, an experience like this. So. Never, never in a million years would you have told me that this might happen. <laughs> Nor would I have believed it if you told me this might happen. Well, sir. 
who knows what might happen next safari. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to wait and see. <laughs> we'll get caught in a stampede of elephants or something. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, Uncle Gary, um, we just located that wildebeest that you guys were chasing for a few days and couldn't quite get on. Um, Stix isn't here this morning, he's on medical break, as you know. Yeah. So you've got stuck with me, unfortunately. <laughs> no, not stuck. But, uh, yeah, let's, if we can just get over there, um, we should have a good chance at him. He's with another bull and there's some females further on, so hopefully he'll give us a chance and you can collect another very good animal. Uh, the hide, I really want one of those hides. I think it'll yes. be really pretty. Yeah. He's got a very nice big body too, so um, I think we've got something special here. Let's go see what we can do. All right. Okay. Taking just beyond the shoulder now. Get ready. Sort of it. Sort of it. Uh, I thought I saw him just thresh around at the top there. We, we were looking for him the first day, and now we're getting the last day. Five minutes, I can just see the tip of his horns like he's just moving like that. There he lies, Mr. Gary. So, this is we thought. Eh? <laughs> Give him five minutes, he came here. He didn't go far. No, not far at all. It's a great shot, too. To knock these things out with one shot. Yes, he's a beast. Crikey. And look at that guy. Wow. You. Yep. See when I said how big and blocky his head is and how wide he is. Look at those bosses. He is fantastic. <laughs> and right there, exactly what we wanted. See they've got this like darker head of mania and then like you want these stripes down the side here for your for your rug, he'll be Absolutely. he'll yeah. be flipping beautiful. That's what makes them much prettier than the, the yes. plaques, in yes. my opinion. They got the stripes going down. And then look at these rock hard bosses here yeah. going. When I said he's thick and when we looked at him his ears yeah. were like that, it had that plus that. So this is all what we wanted. Yeah. So we started looking for him on day one and we got him on the last yeah. day. Yeah. He's been hiding over here. 
Yep. If you needed a better pH though, That's and you would have got him earlier. I know it. I know it. I should have fired <laughs> sticks out that first day. <laughs> well done. I'm very pleased you got him though. I'm glad we got an animal together too. Uncle Gary, so there's two kudu bulls down here. That one on the right is just a young one. The one on the left is exactly what we're looking for, for you to polish up and shine up those bones and that. Yeah, I mean... Those, are, those things are beautiful when they do that. Yeah, so if we can get down to about 500 or so, 480, find a nice bench, we can maybe have a go at him. I mean, you've had such good animals already. Yeah. If we get this one, it'll be just an extra bonus. No. Sticks has had a really great hunt with you. I'm sorry I've only been for two days. But it was two great days then. Not you got me the biggest wildebeest you said anybody <laughs> shot in several years. That's now exactly. You got me a perfect cold kudu to polish that, the horns. And that's exactly right, sir. You were there when I found my pig yesterday. Exactly. So what more could I ask from you, Ed? Yeah. So let's sneak down the wind's good. Let's have one more roll of the dice and see what we can do. Okay. Okay, let's go. Okay, if you're ready, you can go. Beautiful shot. Beautiful shot. Watch him, he's gonna go down. You see him down? Yeah, he's just knocking around, he's going, gone nowhere. And... Over. 502. Thank you, sir. Well done, very, very much. <laughs> I saw it was, I, it was probably one of the nicest ones I've, I've got on this thing. Jeez. Have you been eating there at the water? Yep. Oh, got him. <laughs> well done, Uncle Gay. <laughs> That's a sir. hell of a shot, my man. I'm glad we got him so quickly here, because normally I expected them to move only much later this evening. Yeah. So, a lot of stuff out right now. Yeah, and it's <coughs> such a beautiful evening at the moment. And yeah, I think he'll make a really nice one to put polish your horns up, get her the white um, bone call shined up too. Yeah. Put him on your mantelpiece. Absolutely. You've done well, man. Let's go have a look. Pleasure hunting with you, sir. Yeah, you too. <laughs> yeah, boy. That is exactly what we were wanting. He, I saw him rub his, his hair, his head in the, in the sand. Look at that. In the mud. Yeah. <laughs> so we've got all the mud on his horns. Just a bull that's not going to do anything. Got the little ivory tips in that that will polish out, but no great thing at all. A good one to get out the gene pool. Yeah. And a fine shot and put it there, man. This is exactly what we wanted. We've, we've had a bit of luck. He's got, got some good depth in yeah, his curls. Yeah, so, so it'll have a nice turn for you. When they polish them up, it'll yeah. have even that much more character to it. So yeah. No, that's just very nice. perfect for me and did did a good lick for y'all to get him out of the yeah, pool. Yeah, it's a win-win for everybody, this kind of a kudu, so mm -hmm. very pleased. So am I. <laughs>